Considering using mesh to get better Wi-Fi signal and speeds at home, today we've reviewed the Fritz Repeater 3000AX, a mesh Wi-Fi unit sold by Fritz in the UK and also available through Zen Internet with their every room Wi-Fi signal boosting add-on. Plus, we've also explained what you need to know about mesh Wi-Fi and how it works so you can decide if it's the right solution for your house. But before we begin, click the link in the description to the Fritz Repeater 3000AX on Amazon to see what it costs at the moment and to learn more about this mesh Wi-Fi device. So what is the Fritz Repeater 3000AX and how does it work? This device essentially boosts your Wi-Fi signal, helping you get better speeds at long distance from the router, which can be particularly helpful if you have a larger house or have Wi-Fi dead spots at home. You can buy as many repeaters as you need. Normally just one or two is plenty for most medium to large size houses. Then connect them to your Wi-Fi router, which we'll explain how to do a bit later in the video. The Fritz Repeater 3000AX comes with Wi-Fi 6, giving you good speeds even with a lot of devices on the network. And each unit also has two gigabit LAN ports, allowing you to plug nearby devices such as computers or games consoles into the mesh unit. You can use one of the LAN ports to connect the repeater to your router, but you can also connect the two wirelessly if they're within range of each other. But we'll explain the setup options in the next section. The Fritz repeater supports really fast maximum download speeds, over 5 GHz Wi-Fi, making it suitable for ultra-fast broadband connections. And we also thought we'd mention, this device comes with a 5-year warranty, compared to the 3 years you get with most other routers and mesh Wi-Fi products, which is really good to see. A Fritz is a German company, and the 3000AX is actually manufactured in Europe, making for quite good build quality from our experience at least. Getting set up with the Fritz Repeater 3000AX is actually a lot more simple than you might think. First, plug in the Fritz Repeater somewhere sort of close to your router and wait for it to turn on. Then press the big red button on the front of the device. It's quite hard to miss really. And the green light below it will begin to flash quickly, showing it's ready to pair. Then go to your router and press the WPS button. On Fritzbox routers, like the 7530AX which we're using here, and we've also reviewed it recently on the channel if you want to check that out, you just need to press the button for a second and then the green light next to it will begin flashing. And at this point, the the router and the extender will begin talking to each other. You can also connect the repeater to the router using a LAN cable as we mentioned before in case they're going to be too far apart to use a wireless connection. First hold the main button down on the repeater for 15 seconds to factory reset it then wait for a minute or two and connect the repeater to the router with a LAN cable. Then you essentially do what we did when connecting the two devices wirelessly. Press the big red button on the repeater then within two minutes do the same with the WPS button on the router. We also thought we'd mention quickly, if you're buying more than one repeater, you can set up a cascading connection between the two, rather than connecting the devices directly to your router, which can be helpful depending on the shape of your house. We won't go into the detail of this too much in this video, but it is easy to do, and we've linked to Fritz's tutorials on setting this up in the description and the pinned comment. So now you've connected the repeater or repeaters to your router, the final step is positioning them to ensure you get the best Wi-Fi signal and speeds. As a starting point, it's best to put the repeater about halfway between the router and the devices you want it to connect to, but it's possible to be more precise than this if you want to. Once you get set up, the light on the repeater will show your signal strength to the router. A green light is good, yellow is average, and flashing yellow means the signal isn't the best. So you can use this in conjunction with speed tests on your devices to find a balance between putting the repeater between the router and the devices. And if you download the Fritz Wi-Fi app, assuming you're using a Fritzbox router, you can also monitor your signal strength in real time, which can be really helpful in positioning the repeater. And finally, as an optional last step, you can also configure more settings on the repeater by logging into its admin interface. You need to type fritz.repeater into your web browser, then use the password on your Fritzbox router. Then you can do things like change Wi-Fi channels, helping you get better speeds if you live in an area with a lot of interference. And as is typical from Fritz, there's a lot of other customization options you can choose in here, which is great to see. But most of the time, you don't need to touch these to still get good performance with the Fritz Repeater 3000AX. So how does this mesh Wi-Fi extender perform in the real world? We tested it in a four bedroom, two story house with just one repeater set up 
and using the Fritzbox 7530AX Wi-Fi 6 router. And we made a bit of a diagram to explain what we did. So this is the house, with the router shown by this red circle installed by the front door. And these blue squares are our testing locations. So with just the router installed on its own, and on an open reach 900 megabit connection, our signal is pretty blocked in this area, which looks quite close, but it's upstairs and behind a brick wall or two away from the router. So we only got 157 megabit download speed and a signal score of 21 out of 100. We're using our signal checker app for Android to measure our signal, which you can download at the link in the description if you have an Android phone. And if we went outdoors to our second location, this was about on the edge of usable signal with sort of decent download speeds but nowhere near the maximum on offer from our connection. But once we installed the repeater, things changed quite a lot. We decided to put it here, shown by this orange triangle, sort of at the midway point between the router and the test points, in a location where the repeater was getting good signal, according to the Fritz app. So with the repeater installed, in the first test location, we got much stronger signal and a decent increase in our download speeds. The reason our download speeds aren't a lot higher is because there's still a brick wall and a floor between the repeater and the testing location. It would be best if we had another repeater about here upstairs, but we were still getting a good increase in performance with this setup. And at the second location, we also got a much better signal score and a much better download and upload speed, which was really good to see. So the Fritz Repeater 3000AX can be a really good way to get better Wi-Fi signal and speeds, especially if your router is installed by the front door, as is the case with most houses in the UK. But what if you're not using a Fritz router? From our testing, what we found is, if you buy mesh from a different company than the one that made your router, everything works as normal, with the same sort of increases in performance, and everything's still on the same Wi-Fi network, most of the time at least, but your devices won't automatically connect to the best access point. For example, say you have no repeater here, and you have a smart TV about here where I've put this box, connected to your Wi-Fi router. If you set up the repeater here, and it's from a different brand than the company that made your router, the TV will still connect to the router, unless you reconnect to Wi-Fi on the device. So you can get your devices to connect to the best access point, but it can be a bit of a pain to do this. So if possible, it's best to use the Fritz Repeater 3000AX with a Fritzbox router like the 7530AX This isn't the cheapest mesh Wi-Fi device on the market, but we still think it offers good value for money. It costs about £150 on Amazon at the moment, though there's not a particularly big discount being offered right now. So click the link in the description to this Amazon listing to see the latest deals. The thing about the Fritz Repeater is, you get a lot in return for your money. It performs well, even at decent distance, as we just showed, and is extremely easy to set up, at least if you're doing it wirelessly. All we had to do was press the single button on the repeater and then the WPS button on the router. The whole process took less than 5 minutes. You also get a much longer warranty with this repeater and being German designed and European made, it's really well built. The thing about Fritz is, they tend to think of almost everything you could need from a user experience point of view. For example, their router firmware with the range of admin options it has is some of the best we've ever seen. So if you're considering buying the Fritz Repeater 3000AX, maybe as a part of Zen's Every Room package, and maybe investing in a Fritzbox router as well, we think it's worth the money given what you're getting. So thanks for watching, and remember, click the link in the description to this repeater on Amazon and the Fritz website to learn more about this device and see what it costs when you're watching this. And if you have any questions about the Fritz Repeater 3000AX or about mesh Wi-Fi more broadly, let us know in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.